In the beginning, the land was pure. Even in the early morning light, you could see the beauty in the forms of nature. Soon men and women of every color and shape would be here too. And they would find it all too easy sometimes not to see the colors and to ignore the beauty in each other. But they would never lose sight of the dream of a better world that they could unite and build together in triumph. Everybody, Mike Freeland, better known as Man Cave Money, uh, sitting here uh, Tuesday evening, 9.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, April 19th. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I have been so busy. It's been so exciting. Uh, just getting emails and phone calls and text messages, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Everybody wants to know when Crowd Rising is going live. What is the next phase? Well, the video that you're going to see, the webinar that you're going to see, actually happened a little earlier today. It's going to let you know, guys, that it's not that long. Right now, they're just finalizing and critiquing everything within the system, doing tests and retests, so that when we go green, everything will be working perfectly. you got to respect that. We don't want this to get started and have a glitch. So I, like many other uh, people that are participating, would rather wait and let them get this thing as perfect as possible so when it releases everything, the transition and everything will be a smooth sailing. So I wanted to put this video out tonight as we still wait for the countdown. Uh, feels like New Year's, and yes, it will be New Year's for some people uh, should they become a part and we run this until the wheels fall off. You guys are in for an amazing treat with Crowd Rising. I've been on webinars and listening to the updates. I've been in the uh, the group pages and, and everything, guys. This is what you want to be a part of. I've been in this industry for a long time, doing various things, been very successful. But this right here is going to take this industry to the next level. So I just want to let you guys know I've been super busy getting all of the information that I could possibly get. Also creating videos and things for the launch for when the launch happens so that we will have everything in place so that our team along with the the company in general will really be able to take this and push it out to the masses globally. So make sure you check out this video that uh, webinar that's going to follow me running my mouth right now, get the, to the good part, get the good information, and just as soon as we get the green light to go, you will be getting information on, from me on how to, where to sign up, where your links are, and all of those things. So check out the webinar, and we'll chat with you soon. Have a blessed evening. Welcome and welcome to the Crowd Rising webinar update presentation here for this evening, Tuesday. April 19th. Awesome to have you all with us. I see flags from numerous countries around the world. An absolute pleasure to have each and every one of you with us here this evening. How is everyone doing? Everyone in great spirits? Maybe real quickly, just type the state or province or, or uh, if you're from another country, the, uh, the, the country you're from, just type it in the room here for our other members to uh, see. It's always nice to see the familiar faces in the room and uh, always uh, nice to uh, say hello to our new members that are logging in, our new participants that are looking at Crowd Rising for the very first time. So as most of you know, Crowd Rising was created as a result of uh, our iCharity uh, private activity, a member member platform that we uh, are migrating everyone from our teams over to Crowd Rising. So we've got uh, a great team of people here and uh, 
I just uh, am feeling really blessed and feeling really excited to uh, be addressing you all on behalf of the five horsemen here, Gerhard, Ash, Danny, myself, and uh, you know, we're just pumped. We're excited about the launch of our phase two. Now, we're on standby, folks. We are just uh, literally minutes away, hour, I mean, it could be any time. We're waiting for the final word from the programmer here and the 48-hour countdown to phase two is going to go live here, folks. So uh, everything's been done. Uh, all green lights have uh, come up other than the final word from the programmer. So again, Gerhard will be addressing that and we'll be talking about that later on. Now, for anyone who has logged into their Crowd Rising back office, you're already going to notice you have a referral link in your back office right now. It's not live yet. It won't be live until um, we give the green light on that, where everyone's going to be able to invite when we officially launch Phase 3 and we uh, launch Crowd Rising to the world. Now, one of the things I want to share a little bit again on behalf of the horsemen here and uh, everything that Gerhard and myself have been doing is our priorities have been with you as serving the people and obviously upgrading and grandfathering everyone over from iCharity Club to Crowd Rising. Now one of the additional things that uh, is really important to note that uh, we have not even begun to scratch the surface of the potential that we will all have here in Crowd Rising. As we've said from the beginning, it's a program created, a platform created by the people, for the people. And we are just so excited because this is a multi process system. It is going to have features and things that are going to absolutely blow your mind, folks. I mean, you're going to see some things that are going to be coming out with Crowd Rising that, that you're going to be real excited to be a part of this platform. And you are going to say, wow, was this wait? Was this beta, uh, was this time ever worth the wait? I can assure you of that 100%. But at this time, I want to give some special congratulations on behalf of the five horsemen to some really key people that have just been absolutely instrumental in helping put this all together. And as we stated from day one, this is not a Gerhard and Pete show. This is not a Gerhard, Pete, Ash, Danny show. This is, this is all of us. This is a community where we lock arms, we work together, and we run this race together. But again, special congratulations to the members that have been just uh, really, really out in front and helping. And their names are Lauren Blaine. She has been just phenomenal. Terry Markow, if I don't pronounce your name right, I apologize, but uh, in Terry's side, I mean, Awesome, awesome with the help and support. Val McDowell, I mean, amazing, amazing input as well. And of course, Jerry. Jerry has been very instrumental in that area as well. There's many, many more people like Wayne for helping with presentations and Paul from Toronto. I mean, he's been just uh, bringing people in left, right, and center and has been a real key contributor from day one. Guy, you know, I mean, his emails and everything. I mean, oh my gosh, I mean, I just love Guy. Copy, paste makes my life so easy. He puts together the most incredible professional emails and he keeps his team in the know. I mean, I really appreciate that about Guy. And then, of course, there's Chuck Thomas, I mean, what a great leader. He's always there and always uh, helping his team and the people. And then our good friend Susan Saunders, who's really been active in the Facebook group and just in the Skype room. She's Always there, and Karen Brewer, I and mean, she's been incredible as well. And there are many, many more, many, many, far too many to mention, but volunteers and Facebook mods that have just really helped put this all together. So, you know, on behalf of the horsemen, we just want to say a special, very, very special thank you to each and every one of you. You guys, you know what? Uh, we could have done it without you. And we appreciate you uh, immensely from the bottom of our heart. So our hats off to you folks, each and every one of you. And if I miss someone here real key, you know what, I apologize. There's, there's lots of really key uh, supporters here for Crowd Rising. But uh, uh, I'm here on behalf of my horsemen uh, this evening to just uh, share with you as I did earlier that we are on standby literally by the minute, by the hour here to turn that switch on. 
to the 48-hour counter, and when that phase two counter does uh, happen, we don't expect the pauses or any of that stuff in between. Once that counter goes on, it's going to tick down that 48 hours. I mean, granted, anything can happen, right? I mean, during that process of upgrading, if we run into any kind of bugs, anything at all, we may have a brief pause period at the end. We're not expecting that because that's what we've been doing and testing in the pause period that we're in right now in between the two phases so that we don't need to do that again because we want to make sure that when we go live, when we go live globally to the world uh, and your marketing campaigns are live, the last thing we want to do is to have to say, oh guys, sorry, we must pause the system now. Your links and your, your banners and your things are out there and people click on them and, and, and there's nothing there. I mean, that would be not cool at all. So that's why we're taking the extra steps here to ensure that this does not happen. So again, I'm sure each and every one of you can appreciate that and uh, most of you will definitely 100% uh, appreciate that as well. So anyway, we've got uh, a ton of additional updates here this evening, but uh, I want to touch on a couple of real key topics real quickly before I turn it over to Gerhard for the uh, bulk of the updates and the Q&A sessions that uh, I've had an overwhelming response to um, what I stated yesterday on the webinar in regards to doing a Bitcoin uh, webinar where we basically teach people, we help you get your, get your uh, uh, Bitcoin wallet addresses set up. And so for those that are not really up on the Bitcoin technology, We'll have a little education class. We'll be very generic. I'm not promoting anything else in there. I'm not saying, hey, you know what, join this Bitcoin community over here or whatever. It's specifically geared to helping you do some of the basic things like getting your wallet set up, doing your first Bitcoin transaction, how to receive Bitcoin transactions, all that stuff. Setting up your 2FA, the two-factor authorization. That'll be part of this training class that I'm going to hold so that if you guys get a head start on this, go and download Authy. A-U-T-H-Y or WinAuth. Both work awesome. If you don't have a cell phone but want to register your cell phone, use WinAuth. W-I-N-A-U-T-H. Download it or Authy. A-U-T-H-Y. Authy for your, for your smartphone. It's a great application to have and, uh, you know, I mean, even your Gmail. You should have 2FA on your Gmail so you cannot be hacked. And anything that's financially sensitive like your Bitcoin wallets and all that, you want to make sure you have the latest uh, security on there and the protection that, that 2FA offers. So it'll be on 2FA as well, and it'll also go into uh, screenshots. I mean, many people struggle with, how do I do a screenshot? I can do the print screen on my computer and paint the old way. I think there's much better ways. There's easy tools that you can download for free from the internet. So I'm going to be doing this class for you guys to help you, teach you, and understand that. I'll make an announcement in regards to when that special webinar training class will be. It will possibly be like a Saturday afternoon workshop, something like that, so that those from the UK and that are normally, this is a really late hour for them so that they can better attend this. So we'll, we'll, give, you, we'll give you some advanced notice on when that class will be, because we had a very overwhelming response to attend this. So again, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming um, to this webinar. We are uh, absolutely 100% uh, like excited, pumped, or motivated. I mean, Gerhard and I have been just going on nuts, you know what I mean? We've got, and not a bad nuts, it's great nuts, because we've been overwhelmed with just people contacting us, and phones ringing, and Skype's going nonstop, and, and just uh, back and forth with the programmer, and so many things that are going on behind the scenes. Now, I want to encourage you to get all of the people into the Skype group. It's almost maxed out. We've opened a second group, which is a strategy room, so we have plenty of room to add you. If you're not in our Skype support groups, you definitely want to get in there. If you're not in our Facebook group, I'm going to get Gerhard to post the link right now for the Facebook group. So if anyone here is not in that group, get yourself uh, added to that group. It's a, it's a great little group to mix and mingle and just uh, pick up the latest banner that we just posted in Facebook group. And a lot of the marketing materials will end up on Facebook as well. So we're uh, absolutely thrilled and uh, we're, you're going to be seeing a lot of marketing materials that come out as we go live. I mean, right now our priority has been on ensuring 
that the system is green lights, that everything is functioning properly, and all the little features and bells and whistles are uh, responding properly. And once we turn the referral link on, which is the start phase three, after the 48-hour countdown, you're going to uh, be able to make your marketing ads go live and bring whomever in, and the donations uh, will start pouring into you as people start to step up. We anticipate that crowd rising will uh, be a sensation. It will go viral very, very quickly. And uh, we strongly believe that uh, crowd rising will hit critical mass very, very quickly, folks, because it's got all the elements. It's got the gear, the bell, the whistles. Everything is here. It's very attractive because it's here to peer uh, network and how it functions. When we get into the heart, of doing our trainings in regards to fundraising organizations, your job is going to hit the floor, ladies and gentlemen, when you realize what we have for churches, nonprofits, and so many organizations around the world that are finding old school traditional methods of fundraising are letting them down. They're no longer as profitable as they used to be. People are tired of the barbecues and the chocolate blitzes and and the dances and you know, all the old stuff. It, it, it's old school, guys. Not that it doesn't work. It's still working in some areas, but this is like the new breed, that new hybrid for fundraising, and the nonprofits from around the globe are going to be drawn to this like you will not believe when you see the marketing materials and the tools that will become available. Many of these tools will be created by the field, by the people, by the participants, because there is, per se, no company here. There's nothing. I mean, yeah, there's someone going to manage the ship, but in the end, it's you. It's us. We're a peer-to-peer -peer network for the people, by the people, decentralized, without any central authority, and we donate, we step up, and we level up, and one of the key things that I'm also going to focus on is teaching the math in the charts, because a lot of people get tripped up with that. How do the donations flow? How do I get this donation? Where did this come from? Understanding how the how the spill goes when someone new comes into your team. Right now we capped it at five, right? Everybody can only bring in five. And we know if we had opened that up a different way, you'd have much bigger results. We'd have far more than 700 people. But, you know, it's a good accomplishment. We've got 700 people in crowd rising. This is a migration from my charity club. So we think that's awesome. So I personally want to say thank you to each and every one of you that have been uh, with us here, that participated. And uh, we haven't even scratched the surface of what we are going to do here as a team unit as we move forward. Many things will be introduced. We have so many brilliant minds that are working inside of a um, of crowd rising and the tools and things that they're going to create is just going to be phenomenal. So we're all going to benefit from that because we all share. I mean, that's the beauty of this network. Everyone shares, excuse me, what's working for them. And that's, again, where our support groups and Facebook and Skype are. That's what they're all about. So we're absolutely thrilled. Uh, we're excited about this platform, and I know all of you are uh, at the edge of your seats. You can't wait for Phase 3 to launch, but Phase 2 is going to be great as well. There's one additional thing that I need to make very, very sure that everybody is very much in the know about is the Phase 2. You know, As we do these step-ups, and we ensure that, and it's at the upline's discretion. I'm going to be very clear and upfront here. It's at the upline discretion. If you are in such and such a team, and they've said, hey, we're going to grant everybody their iCharity Club, uh, whatever they have in their iCharity Club, their level, we're going to honor that here, then great. That's what your upline leader decided. It's at their discretion. It's not at our discretion. So uh, Gerhard and I, myself, have said from day one that we're going to honor that. We are sticking to our word, right? So we're going to take and make sure everyone is stepped up to the appropriate grade that they uh, paid for in my charity club. Now, if you ended up coming into Crowd Rising during this uh, phase one and you were not an iCharity member, many of you have been wonderful and have uh, 
responded to our call on the webinar yesterday to submit your support ticket from within your back office that very clearly states you don't need to put anything fancy in there, you don't need to say who your sponsor was, none of that stuff. Just my username is. And then whatever your username is, then behind that, non I charity member. That's it. That's all we need to know. Your username, non I charity member. That can be your subject line. So only your username. That's how we look you up in the system. If you wish to include your email in there, that's fine too, just in case we can't find you. But those are the only fields we need, nothing more. So I want to really want to thank you because if you do not submit that and you came in to Crowd Rising, you're more than welcome to be here. So you just must donate to the person that invited you. So the person that has actively invited you into Crowd Rising, they're the ones that that $20 step up donation, whatever we decide to call it at the end, that's where that is going to go. Now if that person has picked you in, paid it forward for you, that's okay. Then you don't need to submit that support ticket because if they're on, if you're on the front line, let's use an example. I'm Susan Saunders, and I said to two of my people, you know what? You're not, you weren't in a charity, but I'm going to pay you in. They don't need to submit because the payment is going and the donation is going directly to Susan. We don't care in that scenario because you have given them uh, your your word. You pay them. You pay it forward for them. We only need to hear from the ones that you did not hit in that you wish to receive that donation for. Those that fail to do that, I mean, as we cross-reference who was I charity, who was not I charity, you might find your account blocked until you do submit your support ticket. We don't want to see that happen to anybody, so we're going to just ask that you kindly submit a support ticket from your back office so that uh, you can just uh, pre-sale with your marketing campaigns and uh, advertise your link many places to advertise, we'll have plenty of trainings and classes and, and help and tutorials and things about that in the future. So we're just absolutely thrilled to be where we are today. So at this time, I want to turn this over to Gerhard for some updates and a Q&A as always. So again, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you here today and to all of our members that will be listening to the replay of this recording. We appreciate you greatly. Go to the website. It's crowdrising.net. Check it out. Get back with the person that shared this recording with you. Get back to them and say, I want in. Reserve me a spot. Send me your referral link because this is Phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. This is phenomenal and a true blessing. So that being said, I'm going to turn it over to uh, your heart for some updates. Thanks so much. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'll come and quickly do a sound check. And then I will just briefly update you on the latest developments. And then I'm, well, I'm going to ask, ask our mutual friend Michael to stop the recording. And then we will start with the Q&A. Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. I Skyped the programmer just you know just five minutes ago. And him and his, uh, his team, as usual, they do all of the testing on a test server, nothing being tested on the live server while they're developing and, and tweaking the code and making sure that the pass-ups and everything is accurately showing where it's supposed to be going to. You get the story. It has to be 100% because only the best will do for all of, all of our fellow risers, right? So if it takes another hour, it will be another hour. If the problem says, I need, enough, you know, I need two more hours, we will be given the time to make sure that when he does say, go ahead, guys, that it means that it is 100%. Of course, you know, if, you know, this is not, not, not a robot putting it together. It's a human being, and, and humans tend to make errors. Nobody's perfect. So I, you know, I just want to let you guys know that we, we will try not to disappoint you. But if, if, if need be, that time, that time will be, you know, will be uh, moved forward a little bit or extended, if you will. The uh, invites will remain open. To, well, 
for whatever time the uh, countdown timer will show, it will the, the updates. So everybody will remain live. When that timer reaches zero, then at that minute, the invites can no longer be sent out. All the invites that are still pending, that have been, been sent out up to the last minute, the cutoff minute, so to speak, when that button disappears, all those invites will still be live for, for 70, approximately 72 hours. There was a little bit change in the, uh, in the server time, so that, that might cause a little bit of a difference in the duration of the uh, links for how long they're developed but approximately 72 hours and, and then if, if nobody has clicked on that link within 72 hours and they go and click on it afterwards then they will just see a system error i don't know exactly what the error message will be but it will tell you that that link is no longer um uh, live or valid it has expired so therefore nobody can sign you know sign up on those links and as long as that link is clickable they can sign up but they haven't done so already that that is some people might have received multiple invites to sign up but you only need to sign up once you can only use the email one so therefore you know it's, it's strongly suggested that you only sign up once not not twice three times or more only once and, and then as those links expire that's that's the end of for anybody to come in and, and then now as soon as that time is zero that that list will, will go live Pete and I and, and, and our, our volunteers, we will immediately go in. The, pro, the programmers are right now migrating the uh, the upgrade and all, all that stuff to, to our live server. It will remain offline. It's going to only be accessible via a special link. What what Manafi, Pete, myself, and, and, and our, our host of volunteers can go in and, and do the, the actual live testing as, as if this was for real. And once you're 100% sure it was flawless, then the uh, the uh, programmer will just erase all of the testing data and then he will give it the green light. And that's when we will announce it, knock the timer back to back to zero, and then it starts, you know, a brand new timer will start the final 48 hour countdown. And during the 48 hours, the invites are dead, the sign up, everything is disabled. The only thing that will be enabled will be the upgrade feature. So there you have it folks. Please bear with us. Like I said, we want we want to make sure that when that green light goes on, it is systems go. That's, that we're not going to face all kinds of, of hiccups and it still like I said, it's a possibility, right? We can expect that to happen, but we want to try to, to prevent that from happening if at all possible. Now please stop the recording and then we will start with the QA. Back to you, Pete.